Mazda cars are about defying convention and, and trying to do things a bit differently and so we thought well we've got this really lightweight Mazda 2, what can we do that's different, how can we defy convention with it and we thought well let's just defy gravity, the car's really light um, and let's put it up a wall of death. When I, when I got the call to put a modern car on the wall the first thing is you think is somebody taking the mic? But then you always think oh yeah I could do that. This wall was built in 1927. It's uh, Douglas fir steel bands around the outside for the strengthening. We, we're pulling three to four Gs up there, um, and uh, the bands have only got a certain tolerance, so we've had to uh, put extra bands on uh, to allow for that. It's very hard to get across to a viewer, you know, just literally the fact that these walls are absolutely vertical because most people assume they're kind of slightly banked, so we really wanted to bring that out and also to try and get above the wall so that you could really you know see down and, and see this sort of cylinder where all this action is, is taking place so those were the main challenges so we were looking at ultra wide angle lenses but also using a device called a pole cam and a pole cam is is a bit like a very high-tech fishing rod with a camera on the end and a remote control head but what it enabled us to do was to to, to zoom around the wall of death and almost defy gravity with the camera. It's the really challenging bit, getting the car from the, from the horizontal, sort of up 45 degrees and then onto the vertical. Um, and that's where we thought, you know, we might have a, a bit of a problem. Uh, so we did some small modifications to the car. We raised it up as high as we could, put bushes in the suspension to lift it. Filling it out with bump stops so, that, so the suspension is rigid. and obviously gives us the maximum ride height. Basically that, that just goes around the piston. So there is actually no movement on the damper at all. How, how high up do you think you can get? Oh, just below the red line probably. <laughs> maybe, maybe that high. So I could do what they used to do in the old rally days and touch the car as it comes past? Yeah, well, you, can, you can throw me money if you want. <laughs> We're about to uh, just test the uh, Mazda on the track. Well, the first test run was really just about getting the car onto the, the, the track that runs around the wall. And, um, and at that point, um, I mean, just to get it onto the track, uh, Dave had to manoeuvre the car backwards, forwards, and get it. And at one point, it's got three wheels only touching solid ground. Um, and that was looking very, very precarious. When he started, he made his initial approach, um, the car just bottomed out. And, uh, and I thought, this is just not going to go, it's not going to go. We tried again, again it hit. But just a slight change of angle, and then the car started going round. It got round the, it got round the track, and then, and then he got two wheels on the wall. And that was just fantastic. And I just thought, this, actually, this can be done. When we, um, we did all the tests, it was the main worry was the size of the wall being so small and uh, the front end of the car overhanging. When we came to do the proper run, the, you know, the run with the car, we were aiming to get it up there. Again, you know, my, I think my heart really was in my mouth. I felt, I felt my chest pounding. I'm not even doing it. And I'm stood at the top of the wall, watching the car build up speed, um, accelerate around, change to second gear, get two wheels up on the wall, and then suddenly he's vertical. He's going around this, this insane sort of track completely at 90 degrees to the ground. Um, the whole wall is moving, so you really feel part of the experience. Even, if, even though I wasn't driving, I kind of really felt like I was with Dave on this thing because every time he came past me, the wall moved and, and I felt it, just such a, a, a tremendous sort of sense of uh, excitement. I, I've never seen anything quite like this. It does become a blur and it's, you're in the zone and you'll come down and you'll forget what you've done a couple of seconds ago. 